are here at Port of Nassau today. It is definitely a very busy Saturday at this gorgeous new cruise port. Fun fact, they just recently redid all of the um, Nassau Cruise Port. It was a $300 million project that they did. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is massive. There's probably 20,000 people that is at port today. So hopefully we will get some really cool footage for everybody. Nassau's port arrival gate welcomes sailors with a massive projector screen that is 22 feet tall and 45 feet wide. There are so many things to do here at the Nassau Cruise Port, whether it's shopping, dining, or picking up the last minute gifts for your friends and family back home. There's always something for you to do. If you would like to get your hair braided, you can also do this here. Always like to get the Bahamas Gumbe Punch. It is produced here in the Bahamas by the Caribbean Bottling Company. It is a pineapple banana flavor. It is a carbonated soda drink. This is Isaac's first time trying the Bahamas Gumbe Punch. Let's see if he likes it. Don't forget to head over to Rossum Square. This is where you'll see Sir Milo Butler. He is the first Bahamian Governor General. Across the street, you'll find Parliament Square, built in the late 1700s and early 1800s. It houses the House of Assembly, Senate Building, and Supreme Court of the Bahamas. All right, we are currently at the Queen's Staircase. It is constructed solid of limestone. It was built by slaves as an escape route from Finn's Castle. There is 66 steps. It started construction in 1793 and completed in 1794. It is definitely a stop that you have to come see when you're here at Nassau. So let's go. It is definitely a magical thing to see here in Nassau. You definitely got to come check it out. It is a bit busy right now because it's later on in the day. We highly recommend coming in first thing in the morning. Um, we've been here where we were the only two people here for at least 20 minutes. So definitely think about that first thing in the morning, okay? Now we are going to head up 
we're going to go back into Finn's castle. Water Tower of Nassau. This was built in 1928 for water pressure to solve their water pressure issues. And it's 126 feet tall. Isn't it magnificent? Don't forget to stop at the little booth next to Fort Finn's Castle. This is where you'll pay for admission, $3 for adults and $2 for children. Fort Finn Castle sits on top of Bennett's Hill. It was built in 1793 by Lord Dunmore to protect the area from pirates. Fort Finn Castle is shaped like a paddle wheel steamer. There is a um, rumor that I've heard, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, that some of these items was on the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I cannot confirm that, but I heard it, so I am sharing that with you. the highest point of the island on the top of Fort Finn Castle. Nassau Public Library was originally constructed in 1797 as a jail. It was converted in 1879 into a library. The staircase next to St. Andrew's Presbyterian Kirk led to the financial area of Nassau.
prominent pink house on top of the hill. That is the government house, and it dates back to 1801. The Great Cliff Hotel is Nassau's oldest hotel. It was built in 1740 and is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The Bahama Barrel is the first winery in the Bahamas. You can taste wine from around the world here. The Greycliff Cigar Company started production in 1997. Here, you can see cigar rolling and rum tasting. The National Art Gallery of the Bahamas is a nonprofit museum. It is housed in Villa Doyle, a mansion constructed in 1860s for the first Chief Justice in the Bahamas.
The Pirates of Nassau Museum is a great stop for all you pirates enthusiasts. It is $14 for adults and $7 for children. The original building of Christ Church Cathedral was built in 1670, which makes it the first church that was built in the Bahamas. Our last stop of the day is the Straw Market. It is located across the street from the cruise port. Here you'll find local made goods. Did we as a family feel safe in the Bahamas? Yes, we did. We stayed on the main paths, did not wander off where we were not supposed to be, and all the Bahamian people were nice, kind, and sweet to us. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channels so you stay up to date on all of our adventures. Bye now.